you see them all the time, but why not make your own? This gorgeous obelisk was made by you, Carson. It's so simple, uh, but what a beautiful thing, a DIY that you can just do with scraps. Absolutely, and it literally took me about 10 minutes. Really? In the parking lot. Yeah, because I had wood in the back of my car, and I'm like, okay, I gotta throw something together. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so we did this. And I showed it a couple of times on Instagram, yeah. and people were like, that's amazing, how do I make that? So I thought, you know that's what? Lovely. Going into the big event, let's show everybody how to add a little red into their backyard space. Very nice. Or the front yard. So, get festive. This literally was scrap wood. This is nothing fancy, I just cut pieces, yeah. and I started this already. I've already pre cut some pieces. I'm gonna stand this up. You kind of get the idea of how this works. Yeah. It's going to be very tall. Well, this is, this is the shorter version. This is the baby version for that one. Well, you can, actually, you can make it as tall or as short as you really want, Exactly, right? depending on the type of wood that you have. Yeah. So I would actually be getting the nail gun. And we're not going to do this with you, Tracy, because I saw your you expression. You don't trust me. I saw your expression when I whipped out the nail gun, and you're like, no. I don't so want to use it. I you would, can use it, though. I'm going to I create the shades. box. <laughs> Perfect. So I would literally be doing this okay. and adding two more pieces and just creating a simple frame. Right. Okay? Once your frame is in place, I'm going to set that down here. Okay. Once your frame is in place, you want to make a box just like this. Yep. Now, what the box is going to do is it's actually going to support the legs. Okay? okay. The taller the obelisk is, the more boxes you need. Mm -hmm. So put one of these boxes at least every two feet. Right. So that obelisk is a little over six and a half feet. So I put two boxes in. It does not have to be fancy. You're just holding it together to actually add support to your structure. This is going to okay? stabilize it. Yeah. And that's all it does to keep it from wobbling, especially when things are growing on it, like plants or what are the other things we're going to put on for the, what else the we big event. On oh, it? We're going to have a little fun with it. Okay. All right. Now put those back on. Now we're oh. Use okay. the nail gun. So right. when you're going to make your box, you're literally just going to do it like a picture frame. You're okay. going to cut 45 degree angles on your piece of wood. You're going to do it like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So simple, so easy to do. I'm going to get out the nail gun. Ready for this? Yeah, do it. People always get intimidated with these, and they don't have to. I'm because intimidated by all tools. There's safeties involved. There's nothing you can do here that's actually going to cause a problem okay. until you work outside of what it was designed for. Okay? That's true. Now this Let's particular one. Yeah, absolutely. So this one, what I'm going to do is clear some space here. Mm -hmm. You're going to hold it like that. Once you push it in, you're going to hear the little engine start, and you're just pulling the trigger. And that's it. That's it. So I can do it again. Nice. Does not have to be scary. Now look, we've already perfect. got it done. So perfect little corner there. Perfect uh, little corner. You do that a couple more times, and you get a box. Do you want to try it? Because no. you seem so scared. Come okay, on, Tracy, fine. you can do I'll it. Do it. I'll All right, do it. okay. We're going to clear you some what space. What I've said today makes you think that I <laughs> ever want to do this. You can do this, Tracy. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go, yep. You I'm hold gonna, them together. I'm going to do it like this. Do you have lots of room? Get yeah. my hands out of the Al, way. Can you see it? Okay. Push okay. it in. Push it in until you hear the engine. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You hold it Push together. Push it in until you hear the engine. Okay. It's Got not it. exactly straight. Got it. It's that easy. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. So you kind of a little left to center, but again, don't worry about it. Because in this situation, we're going to cover the obelisk. Now, right, so who cares? Exactly, because this is, I don't want to say it's disposable, but you're using scrap wood. It right. doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because it's going to add more character. It becomes more like folk art in your house, which I love. Right, give it character. Exactly, right? when, when you're painting it. Yeah. I actually use the Benjamin Moore product there, front entrance. So it's mm -hmm. actually designed for front doors because it won't fade. And I wanted that really lush red color. Yeah. So I went with that. Now, if I decide maybe for the holidays I'm going to put it back outside, I can touch it up. Or let's say I want to change the color for another event coming yes. up. I can add different colors to it make it simple. That's okay? very cool. It looks the same color as my front door. Yeah. It's well, it is similar. almost the exact same yeah, color as your front similar. door, which was the inspiration and where the leftover paint came from. So. <laughs> The other thing I wanted to point out, too, is we're seeing a lot of the flag right now and this, this logo coming mm -hmm. out. I love pulling colors from the logo from the Canada 150. Now, that flag came from Lee Valley, which I think is fantastic nice. that they're selling it. More and more people are taking the effort to get that flag out into their properties. Mm -hmm. We're celebrating a big event. Let's just go we for should. it. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm excited about that, but I did a little color matching on it, too. Very your, nice. Your front door is the same color as the logo. I love it. <laughs> Yay. It so, all works together. Okay, so let's talk about what we might want to use this for uh, in and around the house. So on um, my house, and the reason why I got so much attention was I planted Mandevilla. Now, Mandevilla is a vine like this guy it's here. Beautiful. Beautiful white color really pops out against the red. Yeah. Now, Mandevilla is more of a tropical feel to it. I love it in the Canadian climate because it does so well in the summer. You yeah. cut it back, you throw it in the garage, it'll come back next year. Nice. Okay, but because that white is so crisp and it's such an easy vine to grow, it yeah. will take over your whole obelisk. Oh, it okay? will? Yeah. 
if you're not really into gardening. Well, that's kind of lovely, though. So as high as you make it is as high as it'll It's going to go. And you can that's see great. it's got, like, these tendrils ready to just take off. Lovely. I also love the red and white lights that are out right now. Yeah. Yeah, and everybody's starting to do hashtags with them and stuff and showing pictures. I think that's really cool. So yes. I'm all for that, too. I put it on my obelisk, and I'm going to dress it up for the big night, the big and event. wind it all up and exactly. down. Exactly. Now, the one thing I wanted to mention, too. Yeah. Make sure you crown your obelisk with something cool. Yeah. This is just a fence post pillar. Oh, Just a cap nice. on top. That's for actually indoor piece, but because you use the outdoor paint on it, you make it last longer. Add your own flair to it. Build it up. Lovely. Make it fancy. Also, you can get this scrap uh, easily, right? Absolutely. Or you can buy it. It's fairly inexpensive. 